Well, with today being National Observe the Weather Day, I thought we'd take a look back at just how far we've come. You know, meteorology is still a relatively new science. As we go back to 650 BC, a long, long time ago, the first weather observations were just beginning in Babylonia. Back in 340 BC, Aristotle pulled together kind of the, the modern theories of his day as to how weather formed and what caused this or that to occur. He wrote it in Meteorologica, and that book, those writings, were where we got the term meteorology or the study of weather. During the 1400s, the 1500s, and 1600s, that's when there was a the development of reliable weather instruments. We're talking thermometer, barometer, the anemometer, which measures wind speed, even the rain gauge, kind of developed in this era, and those instruments still used today. Back in 1854, that's when the UK Met Office was established. That was England's weather center, basically, where they started to take a look at observations around the UK, and they started to do forecasts. Now, interesting note here, weather forecasting was once illegal in the United Kingdom. It was actually considered a form of witchcraft or sorcery, trying to think about the weather that was coming. I want to take a look at this man, Robert Fitzroy, who was the guy that established the UK Met Office, and he tracked the weather. Now, he was a naval officer, and he would study the weather and try to put together forecasts for maritime and naval interests that were coming off and on the coast of England. He found that the weather was, in fact, somewhat predictable, and he coined a new term, forecast. He was the guy that came up with that. Now, you take a look at the improvements we've enjoyed over the last 100 years or so, and the big improvements, radar, we're able to detect rain. Satellites can now detect weather occurring far away and give us a kind of broad view of what's going on. Can also do remote sensing of different weather conditions throughout the atmosphere. But perhaps the biggest aid in improving our accuracy and the ability to do forecasting is improvements in communication. The Telegraph got all reports in from different parts of the country in relatively short amounts of time, and this is what allows us to do our forecasts. All right, as you take time, observe the weather and enjoy National Observe the Weather Day.